If history truly does repeat itself, then I am getting another liquid Aurelium infusion. In order for that statement to make any sense, I need to take you back to the Four Winds Festival of 2020. Like most other returning players, I came back after the pandemic had already started. I was bored out of my mind with what I had, and I was looking for some nostalgic fun. You see, I hadn't played Guild Wars 2 that much since the year that it came out. I had logged in on and off for a few years. But this time around, I joined a social and helpful guild to show me the reins of the game today. And after I had settled a little bit, I spent a few dollars on some gems so I could change it for gold. At this point, I hadn't become all that efficient in making gold yet, so bear with me. Anyway, it got me a few hundred gold to mess around with, mostly crafting ascended stuff, and then the Four Winds Festival drop, and I noticed that you could purchase Sephirite supply boxes for all sorts of different materials, and all sorts of different prices. My inner gambler was happy. I had so much junk material lying around across my characters that I had no idea what to use them for. So I spent everything that I owned on Sephirite supply boxes, and I started gambling. At this point, I didn't really know what had value and what was useful or anything, but I've been told that infusions is where it's at. The lowest tier in the preview window, the super rare drops. If I remember correctly, I got around 10 or 15,000 Sephirite supply boxes that year. And I wish I could show you what I got, but I hadn't even started recording my gameplay yet. The first super rare drop that I got was the confetti infusion. I got it after like two or 3,000 boxes, and I was so fucking ecstatic, you wouldn't believe. I right-clicked on the infusion to check the value, and someone had put a buy order in for 10,000 gold, and I instantly sold it. I was so happy. I had just made 9,000 gold in five minutes. I proceeded to buy boxes for another 1,000 gold, and boom! I got an Aurelium infusion on the first stack, and I made another 1k gold profit. Shortly after that, I realized that the Overflow Trading Company, or the Overflow Trading Discord, was a thing, and I found out that I had undersold my confetti by 5,000 gold. But never mind, I was rich now. That brings us to the day's video. After I had made 10,000 gold profit on the Four Winds Festival of 2020 from doing practically nothing, I decided that next year I would gamble even more. So I set myself a goal. I would find the cheapest material that I could get, and I would get as many of that material as I could. In 2020, the material prices for separate supply boxes wasn't that bad. I decided that cotton would probably be the best material to settle on, as one cotton scrap was only around 30 copper, and I only needed 13 cotton per box. So I started putting buy orders in for a few thousand copper every month when the prices were low, and I would slowly fill up my extra characters that I used for banks. I then proceeded to fill up my alt accounts, which is an optional step, but it helps if you want to maximize your gambling efforts. But before I go further into the video, I have sort of an announcement. If this video reaches 500 likes, I'll do a giveaway for Dusk here on YouTube. If this video reaches a thousand likes, I'll give away an additional 1,000 gold for five players. That's 200 gold each. That is a total of six winners if this video reaches a thousand likes. So remember to hit that like button. Anyway, the festival finally started last Tuesday, and I got to transferring all the cotton from my alt accounts to my main. It sucked, but it had to be done. Originally, I had planned to get around 35,000 Sephirite supply boxes for this year's opening, but ArenaNet finally decided to fuck me over again and increase the prices by threefold. I literally got one third of what I planned to do. So let's see what I can get with one third of my plan. Here's the opening. Keep watching. Maybe we should just get this show on the road. Don't you guys think? Here we go. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. So far it's not looking good, to be honest. The way the way that my luck has been working lately. This this might be a sad day. Sad day for Lastic. Fucking breather. 
years. There we go. Hello, RNG Jesus. I don't know if you know Genshin Impact, but RNG Jesus was on my side this night. I got three good characters and I wanted in 20 pulls. That's actually kind of impressive. I never, I never actually spent anything on Genshin, but I did a few pulls whenever I got the free ones and I never seemed to get anything good. But, well, that's not true. I did get that lightning chick that has a... <gasps> oh, yes! Woo! <laughs> oh, thank fucking God, dude. All right. I beat Cellofrag. I beat Cellofrag, guys. A few moments earlier. Oh my god, someone in my chat just looted the Chuck infusion. Oh! Holy fuck! Chat! Holy fuck! Chat! Chat! <laughs> oh, chat, look! I beat Cellofrag. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Fuck yes. That is amazing. Okay, we still have we still have 5750 to go, so we might still get lucky. Oh, come on, I need one more infusion drop. Maybe I should try to waypoint. Because it's really starting to lag. Also, let's get this for good good time saved. Six. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is, that is, that is good. All right, guys, that was it. That was 12,000 Sephirite boxes. That was all that I could muster. So yeah, I made profit. I spent around 2,000 gold on this in total. So yeah, the rest, the rest is in the pocket. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.